We're calling it a community crisis in our valley. Clark County School District Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara is speaking out after weeks of violent school attacks against teachers. And he offered some insights into the district's plans to address violence, mental health, and healing. Reporter Alicia Patillo joins us now live in the studio to explain the actions the district is now taking. Alicia. Well, Dave, Trisha, they say it takes a village to raise a child. And today, Dr. Jara shared the district's collective plan to shut down school violence. Keeps me up every night. Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara spoke out today for the first time in two weeks, condemning violence in our schools and calling it a community crisis. So there's a crisis in the community that's come into our schools. I want to be very clear that that's what we're dealing with. Dr. Jara made it clear he was on a mission to fix the problem, joined by a team of experts in emergency management, law enforcement, and mental health, all committed to stopping the violence. We're going to do what we need to do to make sure that our children and our staff, all staff, teachers, support staff, and our administrators uh, feel safe in, in our campuses. The district has now established what they call an instant alert system, providing training and communication to teachers and staff on campus in the event of an emergency. When we asked Michael Wilson, the director of emergency management, about the specifics of this system, details were guarded. We don't want those who will do harm to our students and our staff to be to be able to know how we'll, how we will respond and what our procedures are. Wilson says the staff at El Dorado High School were the first to be trained on the new system. You may remember a teacher there was the victim of a violent classroom assault by a student. We have multiple communication systems already in place to deal with emergencies inside of a classroom or inside of a school. Each one of those were reviewed. The district says they intend for all CCSD employees to undergo system training and have access to the instant alert system, but it won't happen overnight. Lastly, the district says it's taking steps to address the mental health crisis within our schools. We also have telehealth services on all of our campuses now. Now, Henderson, North Las Vegas, and Metro Police Department will provide increase in security at campuses until the end of the school year, which is just a couple of weeks away. I did speak with the Clark County Education Association for their reaction to the district's improved safety approach. They told me the actions were all steps in the right direction. In his remarks today, Dr. Jara also sent a huge thank you to the thousands of teachers within the district who have done their part in helping our students. Live in studio, I'm Alicia Patillo reporting. Thanks, Alicia. Also 